We are back on the campaign trail following Donald Trump and Kamala Harris and their fight to win the White House in November. With Election Day less than three months away, today is all about the economy. Both campaigns focusing their message on easing the pain of the current cost of living. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, tonight both campaigns are obviously well aware of how high prices are hurting people across the country. And a new AP NORC poll finds that Americans are more likely to trust Trump over Harris when it comes to handling the economy. 45% for Trump, 38% for Harris. Casting his primary election ballot during early voting in Florida, former President Donald Trump discusses the economy. It's gone very bad under this group of people with inflation, with the economy itself, and so many other things. And on the stump in Michigan, near Grand Rapids, his vice presidential candidate, J.D. Vance, with a similar message. When Kamala Harris raised the price of American energy, Michigan suffered, you suffered. The Ohio senator pinning the blame for inflation on President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. Vance's comments come as year-over-year -year inflation reached its lowest level in more than three years in July. In the White House press briefing room, Jared Bernstein, chair of the Council of Economic Advisors, telling reporters inflation is coming down, but also acknowledging... But there are too many prices that are still too high, and I think that's one of the reasons for the disconnect that you described for some of the negative vibes that you described. And, the, the, you know, I have three words for people who feel the way you just said, which is we hear you. The president hears you. The vice president hears you. The Trump campaign blasted today's Labor Department report saying America cannot afford another four years of Kamala's failed economic policies. But the Harris campaign warning, if Trump wins, he'll drop an inflation bomb. So how is the economy doing from the perspective of someone not running for office? One expert described it for us in these terms. What we're seeing now is that even though there is the, the inflation rate is, is leveling off, it is still a higher rate than it was uh, four years ago. So everything that a, a, a anybody buys in the marketplace is in a, in a supermarket is 20 percent higher it was than four years ago. Back on the campaign trail, Harris plans to be in North Carolina on Friday to discuss building up the middle class. And tomorrow, she and President Biden will be in Maryland to talk about lowering costs for Americans. Today, the president also spoke about the economy, addressing content creators at the White House. Yes, yes, yes. I told you we're going to have a soft landing. We're going to have a soft landing. My policies are working. Start right in that way, okay? Now, late this afternoon, former President Trump held a rally in Asheville, North Carolina, discussing the economy. North Carolina has 16 electoral votes, and Trump won that state in 2020 by a narrow margin. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.